Hi, my name is Dan Paris, and I am the author of a memoir called As Needed for Pain. I live in New York. I have been uh, isolating and social distancing and trying to stay safe and healthy, just like everybody else uh, in, uh, in my house. Uh, in the suburbs of New York City, I live about 30 miles uh, north of uh, Manhattan. Um, single greatest joy in my life is being a dad. Uh, I have some collages that my kids made in, I think they're probably second grade classes hanging behind me. Um, and they are the single greatest joy that I've ever known. Um, I'm completely bummed out that uh, the uh, Harbor Springs uh, Festival uh, was canceled. Uh, obviously, I understand, but still, it's, it's, uh, it's a real shame. Um, I understand from friends, uh, other uh, authors that have attended the festival in the past, that it is just absolutely beautiful there. The people are incredibly warm and hospitable, and I'm very sorry that, that I'm not able to be there in person. Um, my book, my memoir, As Needed for Pain, is a story about uh, my struggle with uh, prescription painkillers, opioid uh, pills um, that I had um, while I was the editor-in-chief of a major national magazine. So I was the editor of Details Magazine, uh, which was published by Condé Nast, uh, one of the largest magazine publishers in the country, and uh, I was struggling with this addiction to prescription painkillers. Like so many people, uh, I got started with a simple injury. I was prescribed the prescription painkillers, and it was essentially like lighting a fuse. Uh, so the book talks about it's a little bit of coming of age, and then it kind of dives into the addiction and my job. And I, I, I couldn't be more grateful to be alive today, quite frankly. Um, I've been sober for 13 years, uh, and I'm very proud to, to share my story in my memoir, As Needed for Pain. Um, big influences on my work, uh, David Carr, uh, the late David Carr. Um, let's see, who else? I mean, there are so many. Um, Michael Chabon. Um, uh, I mean, Joyce Carol Oates, um, uh, m many others. Um, question here uh, that's prompting me uh, asked when I put pen to paper to begin a new work, is there a question that often drives uh, my writing? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think an important question to, to, that, that I always ask is, um, is anyone going to want to read this? Is this a a story worth sharing. Some writing uh, is sometimes just for, for oneself, uh, but when I write for an audience, it's important for me to make sure that I am sharing a story that people are going to care about and be able to, to um, connect with. The ultimate takeaway um, from my book uh, is that addiction is not a life sentence uh, and that it can strike anyone at any time. It's the great equalizer. It, it, it knows no boundaries and, and it does not discriminate. Uh, it happened to me, a media executive in New York City. It is sweeping across this country and devastating communities. People of all income levels, ethnicities, races. Um, it is brutal. And I think one of the biggest pieces of takeaway from my book is that there is hope. There are so many people whose lives are touched by addiction, either people that are struggling with addiction themselves, have a family member, uh, or someone within their circle that is dealing with it. I think we're all hard pressed, unfortunately, to have to look too far um, within our own orbit of, of close friends and family to, uh, to find someone that's, that's struggling. Um, the one book I'd like to read again for the first time is In Cold Blood. Uh, if I had to pick one body of water, it would be the Pacific Ocean. True or false, Oxford comma all the way. Uh, my views on this are changing, but right now I would say true. 
Uh, I always reach for plain M&Ms. Favorite podcast of late has been the Rich Roll podcast. The books uh, currently on my nightstand. I am reading Nickel Boys, and I am rereading Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. I'll take Thai food any day of the week, and I do my best reading at night. Though I don't, I'm, I'm I'm not able to read a ton at night anymore because I tend to sort of get very drowsy, but. That's when I do do my reading, unless I'm on vacation, in which case I am more than happy to, to read all day long. Um, it's nice to have a, a moment and this opportunity to say hello and tell you a little bit about myself. Again, I'm sorry we're not all together at the festival, um, and I hope we will be at some point very soon. In the meantime, again, my name is Dan Paris, and my memoir is called As Needed for Pain. Thanks a lot.